The internet was not really going in 95, 96. There was a few audio streams, but they were intermittent. I didn't hear Steve Quayle until 96 when I sent an audio cassette of him. Then I got him on, and I remember the first interview, I kind of disagreed with him on a lot of points. He said, they're going to carry out eugenics. They're going to put it in a flu vaccine. They're going to kill you. And then years later, I've done deep, deep research, made films. That's I realize that's everything. So that's why I respect Steve. That's what kind of scares me, though. He gets into other areas that I haven't really researched enough, but I know he's a credible guy, so it kind of freaks me out, some of the other stuff he covers, because I hope that is inaccurate. But we know that Steve is very gifted, very intelligent, has a lot of sources, and it's always great to have Steve Quayle on with us. Okay, Steve, you got cut off by the break. Uh, top German scientists, major institutes, live cancer virus. We know the cancer, the weaponized cancer program was the name of the AIDS program by the uh, Navy in the 70s. We know they put it in the vaccines of gay men in New York. That's declassified. Uh, but then we get demonized saying, don't take the shots. And now here it is in mainstream news that these people are going to be getting cancer viruses. Go ahead. Okay, first of all, I want to give two quotes because I didn't say this. Dr. Henry Kissinger, world population needs to be decreased by 50%, okay? War and famine would not do. Instead, disease offered the most efficient and fastest way to kill the billions that must soon die if the population crisis is to be solved. AIDS is not an efficient killer because it's too slow. My favorite candidate for eliminating 90% of the world's population is airborne Ebola, Ebola respin, because it's both highly lethal and it kills in days instead of years. We've got airborne diseases with 90% mortality in humans killing humans. Think about that. You know, the bird's food is good, too. For everyone who survives, he will have to bury nine. That's Dr. Eric Pianca, University of Texas, evolutionary ecologist and lizard expert. Okay? Now, Alex, what I've been trying to get across for the decade and a half I've been on talk radio is the fact that, look, they're not happy with a 28% mortality rate. They want a 90% mortality rate. The idea is still in strange uh, language or in language that seems so hard for people to grasp. It was the world's leaders who everybody looks up to at the CFR and all that. I don't even want to go into that. But if these guys are eugenicists at heart, which they are, if they're making statements that everyone's got to die, which they do, then where are you and I off? And I challenge the mainstream media to have a round table. Exactly. Guys... I mean, here's the deal. Don't these stupid reporters in New York on CNN and Fox, don't these FBI guys, don't you all understand? We're telling you the truth. We wish this wasn't true. Believe me, I don't like working 18 hours a day. I'm sick of this, but I can't get out of this because it's real. Don't you understand that, that we're not kooks? It's all coming true. It's real. Mainstream German news, cancer viruses in the shots. Alex, Sorry. You know, no, the thing that people have got to understand, those who are in the FBI, the DHS, the CIA, DIA, DEA, every four letter and whatever letters are out there, this isn't just about your assigned target for the day, Alex, Jones, Steve Quayle, or whatever. This is about your families because the mutagenic nature of these very biologically, and by the way, this is all done in special compartmentalized intelligence. And A doesn't necessarily know how he's connected to B until he sees all the killing. That's why the hundred scientists had to die. Alex, listen to me. Right now, they're going to go hot, meaning going hot. I, I know you and I probably, if there's any place we disagree on, is the lateness of the hour, okay? And, and when I say disagree... No, not, Steve, I mean, I mean, I, mean sir, I just believe we can stop it. I know. And I would say this, that the powers that be are anticipating the intentional release of the most deadly biological pathogens. I don't know if uh, the first series of injections... Stay there, stay there. Them. You're saying the intel you've got is they're going hot. We'll see when. When we get back, the word we've got is October. But if we get the word out, I believe they will take the green light off. We better hope so. And a lot of you are laughing out there. Later, you may not be laughing. Live from Austin, Texas... Alex Jones. We are going to your phone calls in just one moment. Steve Quayle is our guest. SteveQuayle.com. I might decide to support your personal line of TV and InfoWars.com. We're under national media attack right now. Southern Poverty Law Center attack. 
the key to all of this is to understand that only a bioweapon release serves the purpose of making everyone suspect and the pretext to lock down cities, bring in federal troops, so they can then pose as the savior, set the precedent, make the troops feel like it's okay what they're doing, make the cities feel like it's okay what they're doing. A total economic collapse can do that, but still the feds get blamed, even though they play the part of the savior. So the globalists are all about scripting and how to pose as the savior. And we see them, I said back in January and February, I said, I'm looking for them to release a controlled flu, but not that the flu would be real. We said back in April, we don't know if this is real or not or just hype. And a lot of scientists are saying this is no big deal. Some, like Nyman we've had on, do say it's a big deal. Steve's been saying it's going to be the vaccine that's going to have it. And a lot of scientists are saying, and they're admitting it has live cancer viruses in it, uh, and cancer cells. So we, we were just reporting on that. Steve, finish up what you were trying to say. I'm, I'm simply trying to say is, is that everything you were talking about, you believe that they won't give it the green light. I'm telling you they've given it the green light. Now, let me just have a, a minute to tell people why, okay? The thing is, they would not be deploying the military to the extent they have. They would not have GPS gun owners to the extent they have. The reports that I'm coming in, and, and when I say this, I'm talking eyewitness listeners of yours and mine, Cobra helicopter gunships over State College last week. A-10 warthogs flying low over Cincinnati metro suburban neighborhood. No, no, they admit under NLE 09, 14 other countries to take over America. In, in, I mean, that's all admitted. I'm not saying it hasn't been green-lighted. But we know there's an operation going. The question is, what is the operation, and will they fully carry it out? I agree they're moving the assets into place. I'm seeing the pre-preparation propaganda. I agree with you. I'm just saying if we stand up and expose it, won't they have to back down, or you're saying they can't pull out? I'm saying this because of the commitment of all the foreign troops and everything. I don't believe outside. Now, let me make this clear. I am the one who believes in miracles. I have said it. And I believe, I seriously believe, Alex, if enough people will repent. And I don't know that it can stop it. But my issue is this for everyone. Just like you. You have listeners. I have listeners. We have listeners. Coast to Coast has all the listeners. I mean, you know, additional listeners. A lot of them. But I'm saying this. is Look, the thing that's left out of the equation, in my opinion, and because it is a spiritual battle, because these people openly worship Lucifer, having Luciferian uh, human sacrifices, I would say this. Do you really think that there is a position in all this argument between all of us and all of them that the God of heaven, which America used to worship, acknowledge, and be grateful for, has a specific character statement or, or a reflection in the Bible where he judges sinful and wicked nations, and he uses evil people to take out other evil people. So my, my, my statement is this, is in this equation, there you have to factor in. You know you get nailed with emails, quails talking about God again. Well, I'm, I'm sharing this with people. If everyone's dying of a vaccine and by simply uh, recognizing the fact that, number one, they don't have to take it, number two, that with sorting all this stuff out, there's so many voices out there, if they will turn. What repentance is, in a simple word, saying, God, I'm sorry, I've tried to live my life without you. You know, Alex, you're saying, you just quoted a minute ago, that you're going to live in the house of the Lord forever. Yeah, but others need to know this, too, that God's abiding presence will never, Jesus said he'll never leave us or forsake us, okay? But the point is, is that these people that worship Lucifer want us dead. I do not believe, short of repentance on the level of Nineveh, that this thing can be stopped because the assets, and, and you know this, you said it on the air, you know we're, 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 our families are threatened incessantly. We're threatened incessantly. We've got spooks on us night and day. And the deal is, is that they would not be doing that and assigning 1,000 uh, cyber warriors to try and come after you, come after me, if they weren't worried about the one thing that they cannot control, and that's God, and God is simple. Well, I agree with you, and, and, and I have a personal relationship with the Creator. My issue is they've created this counterfeit church, so when you get into it, people then get pushed into the New World Order system, but you explain that. But even if somebody's an atheist, we have to admit we're screwed up and admit we're bad and admit this is a sick society and admit that we got to change our ways or it's only going to get worse. Things are deteriorating. Things well, and, and are again, getting I mean, evil. Think I mean, things are falling apart, and it is because we've turned into wicked devils, and the elite know there is a God, and they worship 
the uh, the uh, the wicked you know creation of the Creator, and they really believe in all this. That's what makes me a believer. Is I look at the New World Order, and they are believers, but they're believers on the other side. Absolutely. So, so the issue is not our Alex and Steve just making up stuff. Why don't people do their homework and recognize this? Hey, if they acknowledge that there's a devil, and to even use the name of Jesus is anathema, meaning it's forbidden to them, then the bottom line is is that maybe someone should consider that there really is more to the spiritual plight. By the way, Alex, eyewitness reports coming out of Nampa, Idaho. Nampa, Idaho, okay, confirm hearing foreign commanders ordering local law enforcement officers, EMTs, fire and airport officials in drills in the middle of the night. Now, that's in Nampa, Idaho. Foreign commanders ordering local law enforcement officers. Everybody better realize that when WHO declared a level six alert, okay, pandemic, global pandemic alert, that that put us effectively under control of the United Nations. And guess who the Security Council is? Russia.